AFTV, um, you heard what that last guy was saying. Um, do we have to question Unai Emery today? I mean, you know, Torreira on the bench, Bellerin on the bench as well, right? I mean, mm. and those are a couple of the areas that we look very poor in today where those two players were playing. Allowing Ramsey to leave, it did perk up when Ramsey came onto the pitch. And just an overall very poor performance today. Team played shit, performance was shit, fans were shit. Everything about today was shit. Got a question, his team selection. <sighs> why was Torreira on the bench? He's had a break, so why was he on the bench? Meza Ozil's been in training all week. Why is he not on the bench? Bellerin's on the bench. Come back at the exact same time, so there's no excuses. So if is, it a, is it a thing that, again, he's left him out because he thinks it's a tactical thing? Mm. I mean, this, this is a big problem now because we've got a player well, that's cost, costing us £350,000 every me. week. You don't need to tell me. Right? You and and in a game like, like this when we need... I know. You don't need to tell me. Give me three hundred and fifty grand a week and I'll sit out. I don't care. <laughs> it's a joke though, isn't it? And some players must be sitting there as well and thinking, how can I not even get on the bench and a player that is leaving is ahead of me? That's the issue we got now. But that player who's leaving, when he came on, he looked one of the better players. He looked one of the more likely players to do something. But he's leaving. And he's leaving. But he's leaving. But he's leaving. And do you know why he's leaving? Because of the past regime. Why have we got so many average players on big contracts? Because of the past regime. We're told that the club was left in good hands. Bullshit. This club was left a fucking mess. Ivan Gazidis, Arsene Wenger, all of them culpable. They left this club a mess. Average players, high contracts. Cole Jenkinson got a five-year contract on 62 grand a week. He earns more than Torreira. What is this? Some sort of fucking game? It's a joke. Like Too this, many. In Too this many. month now, that we were, to, you know, they're talking about loans and stuff like that. Why? That team at the moment is not good. I was looking at looking at their team mm. and our team, and I'm like, you know what? There's no difference really in the personnel. There's some players in our team that. Mm -hmm. um, in their team that would get in our team there's players in our team that would get in their team I mean there's no difference really and that's West Ham look the issue we've got right this month is that we can only get loans remember that <laughs> so are the loans that we be able, might be able to get going to be good enough Listen, to get us back into Bobby, the top four to that's do, the problem what, what we need to do as fans now right is actually show a pair of balls instead of talking about it do something about it yes. alright because I'm sick and tired of it like what are you going to do Anything. What? Stop. Listen, I said this the other day. It doesn't matter how small you start, do something. Everyone stop buying things at the Emirates. Stop buying food. Stop buying drinks. Stop buying merchandise. Yeah, exactly. Ty's one of them. Ty's kept fucking Stan Kroenke in fucking power. The amount of shit that he's bought. Do you know what I mean? I have to try and make a joke about it, but it's just like, at the end of the day, it's true. Yeah? Stop buying things from the club now. Start. Arsenal, the revenue at Arsenal, yeah? is over a hundred million a season on a match day. More than three million pounds per match. Stop the revenue, do something. Go for the sponsors, go for the people that are gonna f affect Stan Kroenke. Don't give me all this, oh, you bought your season tickets, so why stay away and all that rubbish, yeah? That empty seats is noticeable and it worked in getting rid of Wenger. I don't care what anyone said, he never left, he got sacked. Bill and Endo is because of empty seats. That is why, you know what I mean? Said we that, if that. we do a lot of these things that you're saying and we're not getting beyond a new manager, he could end up getting sacked as well and we could end up getting worse. I mean, it is, it is a very bad situation at the moment. Can this team, can Bobby, this team get Bobby, into the top four by the Bobby, end of the season? Bobby, can it get much worse than it is at the moment? And how we're feeling? The players look flat. They looks like they need an injection of something. Fresh blood. Even the fans need well, this it. This is where in January you, you, your injection is going into the transfer market and bringing in a couple of yeah. players. And look who we've got. A guy that spends more money on a fucking wig than the club. That's what we've got. That's the reality. Every one of us here that come to the games have spent more money on Arsenal than Stan Kroenke. Fact. More money. My eight-year-old son spent more money than Stan Kroenke. He sits there in America. Does he know we're playing today? Does he know we're playing? Has he been to a game this season? I said it to you the other week when um, Hill Wood passed away. Mm. He didn't even have the decency to come back and fucking pay his respects. He don't care. He doesn't give a shit about this club, Robbie. So as fans, we need to actually start doing something. Stop talking. 
Don't question me whether I can do it, because I sat there, got spat at, punched at and everything for fucking trying to force change before. I'll do it, but who's got the balls to fucking join me and actually do it as well? Stop spending money in the club. Actually fucking show what this club means to you as a fan. If you want change, do something about it, because if you sit back and just go, oh, you ain't going to get change. You're going to get more bullshit like this. End of.